you are here because you're looking for the specific heat capacity, or C, for hydrochloric acid, presumably because you poured hydrochloric acid into something else for a thermochemistry experiment that you did. Now, here's what I'm going to try to get at. The hydrochloric acid you used was dissolved in water. And I don't know what the concentration was, but it couldn't have been that powerful. Your teacher wouldn't have let you use ultra high concentration hydrochloric acid. It would have been diluted at least a little bit. What that means is that you actually used mostly water that happened to have some hydrochloric acid in it. You, the heat capacity that your teacher probably wants you to use is approximately the heat capacity of pure water. Most people say that that is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Maybe if you're an American, you don't use degree Celsius. You might use 4.184 joules per gram Kelvin. It's the same number because each degree Celsius is the same size as a Kelvin. But in any case, the idea is that you're going to say the heat capacity of your aqueous hydrochloric acid is approximately the same as for pure water. It is an approximation. And in the uh, possible sources of error, you could give a shout out to the fact that it's probably not exactly the same as pure water, but it's pretty close. Now, the reason I'm confident you used aqueous hydrochloric acid is that the purest hydrochloric acid is insanely difficult to get your hands on. You can go on Spectrum Chemical or whatever and try to find the purest HCl you can get. It's unreasonably expensive. And in addition, even when you check the, the safety data sheet for it, it tells you, oh, well, it has uh, like this vapor pressure boiling point at this concentration and this vapor pressure and boiling point at this concentration. And all those concentrations are like 20%, 30%. You're never probably in your life going to work with 100% hydrochloric acid. You're probably using hydrochloric acid dissolved in some water. And so here's your heat capacity. Accept it. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.